Liam, uh, Maria Carla, Maria Carla Boscono. In English, uh, Maria Carla. No. I'm from Roma, Italy. Um, born there, didn't live all my life there. I um, come from like a family of uh, um, kind, I would say, like hippie, but um, I mean, more traveled people, you know, so we live everywhere. We are almost born in Thailand, and then from there, um, well, they decided to make me born in Rome, which is very proud. And, um, and then we moved, um, I mean, I lived all my life uh, almost like in Africa, in Kenya, in Kilifi. And then uh, I came back in Rome, and, um, and then I started modeling. It's almost like impossible. Uh, to, to think, you know, that I could be a model. I always had my parents saying, you're very smart, you're very funny. I never heard my, anyone say you're beautiful. From there, I never stopped, almost, you know, like my first probably job was, uh, um, which I think was very important for me. The funny story is that, like, I came in, um, in Paris alone, 16, and uh, my mom, she couldn't come with me and like I was, you know, like I didn't even know really who was Comme des Garçons and uh, I mean it was amazing and I remember I've been working like every day and like, uh, you know, the day of the, of the show I arrived and uh, I did like the light, the music before the older girls came, you know, and then still Atena was there, Cara Nelson was there, I was looking all of them, I was like, wow, they look wonderful. It's fantastic and then suddenly the show started. I did not realize the show started. I don't remember if I was opening the show, you know, I didn't really realize nothing. It was very confused in my mind. I went out and suddenly I saw the people. I kind of get frozen and then because the show at that year was no music, just once in a while it was like eh, and I was like oh my god and I walked out of the of the runway and I was totally frozen. I was like oh my god I can't believe this is happening and uh, and then nothing but I, I worked many years with them and I think that was absolutely the luckiest things that could ever happen for a model for a beginning model I mean of course you have to be beautiful no, 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 and everything but it's also like a performance and you really have to kind of like know more what is around it's not just like walking it and you know wearing a dress well and you know it's way more and that's what I think made you know kind of my success I'm really lucky because no one ever tricked me in a different way. I'm like always Maricara for, for my mom, my dad, my family and everything. And for me, you know, like really the modeling, either if I, you know, I put all my passion, everything, but it's really a job. Like for me, like it's a job. I'm like 100% professional. Mom. It's not like about being time. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm Italian. I'm not in time. I'm very private. I'm not very public. But I'm very generous, you know, as a, you know, I don't really hide, I'm not malicious as a person. Somebody asked me, like, what, what is your house? What do you consider your house? You say, I, my house is probably where I, my, you know, the people I love, they are. But, uh, you know, my house, it's everywhere in my hope, in my life, it's to have, uh, you know, um, a little piece of me, a little everywhere in the world. When people meet me, it's like, you know, like sometimes they recognize me, sometimes not, because I'm very, you know, low-key, you know, I walk around, I dress very easy. They, they just met me, they look at me and they're like, oh my God, you smile so much, you're really nice. I'm like, what? But see, but, see, but you know, like, we always see picture of you on the shows, on like campaign, always like being so angry. I'm like, I'm concentrated, I guess. I don't know. What I can't believe you smile so much. You're so funny. <laughs> and I guess that's my real side. I think it's very difficult to plan anything when you're doing like the type of life that I do. Um, I. I focus most, you know, I always say to myself, you know, it doesn't matter where the life is going to break me or what I really am going to want to do it. The most important thing is that I, I would search for happiness. And that's it. If I end up, you know, running um, I'm a bed and breakfast in the country, in Tuscany, or having a lot of kids or have no kids, or be alone or, you know, with my... Uh, parents, so I don't know, be an actress, uh, running a farm, whatever the life is going to break me. 
I hope it's going to be still like, you know, um, happiness. You know, happy. I want to just be happy.